Hi everyone, I'm Gail Berry. I'm the founder of Blossom and Berry, which is an international teacher training company specialising in baby massage and baby yoga. And I am here to share with you some great tips and advice that you can use if your baby is struggling with constipation. Uh, I've been a baby massage teacher for about 15 years. I have three children of my own and I have seen so many parents struggling with constipation for babies in the first three months of life. So if your baby has constipation, please don't feel like you're the only one. My own children, particularly my daughter, had colic and constipation, which made, um, you know, life pretty tricky in those early days and that's why I actually went along to a baby massage class to find out some tips and techniques that I thought would help and support her. Then I became a teacher and now I'm here sharing that, and that advice and experience with you. So the first thing I want to say is you're doing an amazing job supporting your baby and just by listening to this right now it means that your baby's needs are right at the front of everything you're doing right now. So thank just give yourself a big pat on the back for just wanting to help your baby. The second thing to say is that constipation in babies and children is very common. Now, particularly in the first 12 weeks of life, baby's digestive system is still slowly maturing and every baby will have a different rate of digestion and a different rate that the digestive system matures. So there's no point in kind of taking um, too much notice of what your friend's baby is doing or what your sister's baby is doing or anyone giving you advice on what other babies do because all the really matters is what your baby's doing and how you can support your baby. So you might find that your baby is struggling a little bit with um, retaining wind. You might not be able to burp them very effectively. They might be keeping uh, wind or gas in their belly, which is giving them um, a lot of uh, pain in that area. It can lead to a condition known as colic, which is a a very severe form of uh, either overstimulation or congestion through the digestive system, or they might be con uh, constipated. So in the first 12 weeks of life, babies are still developing. So give yourself a break and give your baby a break and just be aware that babies aren't ready to go as soon as they are born. In fact, babies' brains are only 20% developed at birth. So Babies are still learning how to have an effective digestive system. They're still making connections between the belly and the brain, which is why in these early days, you know, the simple things like passing a stool or passing wind can seem really difficult for baby. So we've just got to be really accepting, really patient and really supportive during this time. So some of the things that you can do um, are to use uh, techniques around massage and yoga to support your baby's digestive system. So you can help to um, actually um, support the process of moving air bubbles and gas and stools through the bowel, um, through gentle strokes on the belly. And through yoga, we can facilitate gentle movements through the abdominal area, which can help again to move air bubbles through the bowel. So they're both practical techniques that you can use. It's definitely going to help your baby um, more than if you weren't doing anything. They're really gentle. A lot of them are intuitive. So I think that you'll find that they're really easy to use in your day, maybe when you change your baby's nappy or maybe when you get your baby out of a car seat as well. Now before we do anything with our babies, uh, we always do two things. The first thing is we check in with them to make sure they're happy and healthy. So I want you to make sure that your baby has got no fever, diarrhea, sickness, temperature, um, any diagnosed lumps or bumps or rashes. You're the expert of your baby and you know your baby well. You want to be practicing massage when your baby wants to practice it and when your baby is happy and healthy. And then before we start any kind of massage and yoga practice with our babies, we always ask our baby's permission. So that's really easy. You're just gonna um, you know, make a lovely eye contact with your baby. If you're doing massage, you'll be using an organic sunflower uh, seed oil if it's after eight weeks or an organic coconut oil. You pop some on your hand, you warm it up like this, and then you lean forward and just 
say, are you ready for some massage? Or are you ready for some yoga? If you don't need the oil for that, you just say, are you ready for some yoga, baby? And then we just tune in to make sure that our babies are actually um, uh, open to receiving massage and yoga because we always take the lead from our babies. Babies are in charge, okay? So let's look first of all at the massage techniques that we can do. Um, <clears throat> before we begin, just to say that if your baby is constipated, it's really important to offer him or her water on a regular basis because having drinking water can help to relieve constipation. So giving baby the opportunity to take water in between feeds with your breastfeeding or formula feeding is really important. Um, what happens when your baby is constipated is that the, the waste matter inside the bowel is staying is, is not moving through effectively could be for a number of reasons with smaller babies it's largely because of the gut wall isn't yet fully mature so it's not as effective of moving um, air or, or stools from A to B um, and so what we want to do is to help to support that process um, and, and the longer that those stools stay within the bowel the more water is actually absorbed from the stool which makes it harder um, and then it's harder to pass and it's more painful for babies so sometimes babies can actually get a little bit fearful of going to the toilet especially this can happen with older children like toddlers as well so we don't want to have any connection for your baby between going to the toilet and fear pain and anxiety so everything here should be a, a design to help your baby feel relief and to feel that you're helping to manage that pain manage any um any any feelings of anxiety around going to the loo okay so we're going to work on the tummy to begin with so as i said you would be using an organic sunflower seed oil or an organic um uh, coconut oil the, this sort of massage is best used from eight weeks with your baby if your baby is under six weeks it's not a great idea to add too much to the skin because it's still developing so you could do a routine like this over your baby's baby grow and a great time to do this is actually when you change your baby's nappy because you will be getting them a little bit undressed anyway and if you think how many times you change your baby's nappy during the day maybe it could be between four to six times it means four to six times during the day you're getting um, this really important um, getting all the hormones flowing to help with pain and helping to move this waste matter through the bowel so you're really helping to support your baby so you start off again you'd ask baby's permission you place your hand over your baby's tummy now obviously I'm using a doll because this is my demonstration doll for my classes using a real baby for these videos can be really tricky because sometimes babies don't want to be filmed so we try to use a doll um, you need to remove your jewelry and obviously wash your hands as well make sure your nails are short so I still have my jewelry on because I'm using a doll but you would need to make sure that you've done that before you begin so we place the hand on and here you can tune in with your baby and literally kind of think about sending a little bit of love to your baby trying to reassure your baby look I know you've got tummy ache I'm here I'm here to help you so you place your hand on like this if the tummy feels quite hard it does indicate sometimes that baby has wind um, sometimes in my experience I've even been able to feel a stool in your baby's um, in, a, in a baby's tummy where it hasn't moved through the bowel and it's become so hard that we've actually been able to break it down using our fingers and then the baby's passed the wind uh, the poo and whoa what a relief for baby and also for the mummy and daddy as well so hand on like this for about six to ten seconds and then what we're going to do is paddle the hands from just above the belly button down towards the hips now um, this is best done with nappy off if you can but otherwise you want to loosen the nappy so you can get all the way down to the hips so you're going to do six to ten of this stroke which is a paddling stroke then you're going to bring the knees up to the chest and hold them there and give them a little bounce we say relax relax baby relax like that 
and that's going to be held again for about 10 seconds and then releasing the legs down for about 10 seconds as well. So six to 10 paddling strokes, knees up to the chest for about 10 seconds, release with a gentle shake. That just helps to encourage the air bubbles to move around the tummy and helps to encourage the passage of any stools. Then what we're going to do is another really effective stroke to move any stools through the bow. So with our um, left hand, we start with the circle. We move all the way around the tummy in a clockwise direction. That's the main thing to remember. Thinking where your baby's tummy is a clock, what we're going to do is get to about five o'clock here. We're gonna pick up the right hand and we're going to add on here a half circle, nine to five, coming off nine to five. So this stroke is the nine to five movement. And what we're doing is bringing everything around here to the left hand side. That's where we're gonna release any stools, any air bubbles. So again, you're gonna do this one between six to 10 times really doing the job of baby's digestive system by moving the air and stools around the belly, around the bowel, working in a clockwise motion. And then again, knees up to the chest, holding for around 10 seconds, checking in with baby all the time, keep reading your baby's cues if they've had enough. You just go back to placing your hand on, pick baby up, give them a cuddle. We never force babies to ever do anything that they don't want to do. And then we release the legs back down. We say, relax, relax baby, relax. Okay, so we do that three times. As I said, definitely twice a day, but if you can at nappy changing time, it's such a great practice and routine to get into. And what you'll find is it won't be immediate, okay? Because what you're doing in essence is you're mechanically moving stools and wind through the belly, which helps to expel waste. The second thing you're doing is you're bringing the blood supply to the bowel, helping to encourage the wall to thicken the muscle inside, to thicken to be more effective, moving air from A to B and also you're helping to um, do a process called myelination or you're helping to make connections between the baby's belly and brain and that also supports digestion so all of those things aren't always immediate yes you might get some release <clears throat> because you're mechanically doing that job for baby but the other things will take a little bit of time so as with everything with babies we need to be patient and supportive and just communicate to them that it's okay that if they have these emotions we can help them to regulate them through our own um, expressions and actions towards them Okay, so that's our massage. Now let's have a look at some yoga. So yoga is great to do um, because it's easy um, to practice with babies. Babies are naturally yogic. They're fantastic big belly breathers. They're very much in tune with the moment. They're really flexible and they love exploring their body. So they're very playful around movement. So there's so many benefits to baby yoga, but we're focusing now on constipation because that's the problem that I want to help you to solve. So you pick up your baby's legs like this, and what we're going to do is very gently, obviously you ask baby's permission, bring the knees up to the chest, and then we're gonna move the legs around the belly like this in a clockwise motion. So we're very gently massaging the belly, using the legs, and just helping to move anything around the bow. So again, you might want to do this one between six to 10 times. It's not prescriptive. The best routine for massage and yoga is always the one that you create with your baby yourself. Okay, and you can go in the opposite direction as well. And the idea behind that is we're getting movement into the bowel. So you know that if you have a really big meal or if you if you ever had a constipation yourself, you have that sensation of sluggishness, of heaviness in the belly. When we move, we went for a walk, we would be able to help to move things through the bowel. Now babies can't walk, so they rely upon us to provide them with movement. So this is what we can do. So again, what we're going to do now is a little marching movement so with this one <clears throat> we're going to march baby's legs and you can see here baby's actually on my legs in this traditional Indian position for uh, massage but you can also place your baby flat onto the floor and with yoga it's often better to do that okay so just a marching movement as well that's going to be really really good 
And then also one called kissing toes where we bring the feet up and get baby to kiss their toes. Now again, all babies have different flexibility on this, so we never force or push baby to do anything. So off we go like that. And again, six to 10 of those. And can you see now how by doing these movements, this is so much better than not doing anything at all because we're getting movement into the low abdominal area. We're gonna to help to move things all around. And again, if you use this when you get your baby out of a car seat, when they've been you know, uh, forced into that sort of bucket seat position, this helps to really bring circulation into the hips. It helps to massage the lower back and it helps support really good digestion. So to finish off, I'm just gonna show you a little song that you can do, which uh, we, we teach in baby yoga, um, because it's really good to use songs whilst you're doing yoga, because it makes baby feel more relaxed, it gives them opportunity to learn um, songs from you. Obviously, sound of voice is really important for bonding, and it also helps to remind you to do the practice. So this one is called the Grand Old Duke of York. So what we're going to do is um, do our marching movement, which we did earlier for the first part, and then we're going to lift up and do um, our kissing toes. So if you want to watch me first, and then you can have a go with your baby, and as I said, it's perfect for nappy changing time, or getting baby out of a car seat. So here we go. So we say, oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up, big stretch. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down and give the legs a little shake like that just to encourage any air bubbles or stools that have moved around all right fantastic so i hope that this has been useful to you these techniques are definitely going to help and support your baby they're definitely better than not doing anything at all so you're empowered to help your baby when you see your baby in pain they also reduce uh, produce endorphins such as oxytocin which helps to bring down stress levels in your baby's body if they're getting a little bit fearful and anxious about not being able to go to the toilet and it gives you that really amazing bonding time with your baby. So I hope that this helps. If you have success, put some comments below, visit our website, www.blossomandberry.com or drop me a line to let me know how you get on. And I hope that they, this session has been really useful for you. Have an amazing day.